In true fanboy and fangirl fashion, here we are in an airport again, chasing King Unit across the globe. This time, across the Atlantic to go support them on their wheelie bin challenge. We're just hanging out, waiting for a flight, and we're thinking we're probably gonna go see if we can find just like a general type store that has rugs. We want just some for a little clothes. sleep aid. Just, just a little nudge in the, in the direction of sleep. We find that that helps on our flights across the pond so that we can wake up in the morning with a little less jet lag. So we're gonna go find some of that, and then we're gonna get on the plane, and we'll see you. On the flippity flop. Line. The tube. Mind the gap. We just <laughs> bought our oyster cards. That guy. If you come to London, get one of those because that's how you use the tube. We're gonna hop on it. And go to London. See you there. Also, this is where my milkshake brings all the boys. Good one, man. You like that? Behind us, there's the Eye of London, there's like the Thames, and if we circle around, that would be where the Parliament meets. That is Big Ben. Do you know that most people, when they see Big Ben, think it's going to be bigger? And that's because if you go to Disneyland and you ride the Peter Pan ride, it's so off proportion that it looks gigantic. Pretty much describes my experience. But it's okay, it's still impressive. We are going to head up to a place called South Bank Center. It's supposed to be the building where you can go up and see a view of the city. Go over and see what happens. Find out.
are at the cauldron, we are going to make some potions. Some potions with libations. You're going to learn something new. You're going to have a refresher course. Yeah, always going to go back to basics. Now, um, at its essence, at its core, it is the ability to vividly imagine that which you so desire. We thrust that vision into reality. Cast a spell just at these rooms here for you. Nice and close. Don't touch. Just nice and close. The switch. Very good. Well done. Very good. Exemplary. Congratulations. You just cast your first spells. Give yourself a round of applause. Yes, and you have. As you've done so well, however, shown a talent, a skill, dare I say it, an aptitude, a, a panache for the delicate spell casting arts. I decided to graduate you all to the advanced class. Yay! Yay! Right, so, and take you up to the great and powerful crystal, where you'll take your advanced magic lesson, and, if all goes well, summon for yourselves an alcoholic beverage! Yay! Yay! Dear, and if all goes kits up, I get your soul. For those witches and wizards who do not wish to become possessed by the spirits or haunted the next morning, they offer mocktails as well. We just got to the King's Cross station and we are walking up this little sidewalk area to go to Regent's Canal, which is kind of a, uh, a local hot spot. I'm pretty excited to walk along it. I hear there's some street food there. Should be nice. Also, for all you Harry Potter nerds like myself, we do plan on going to platform nine and three quarters, which is in King's Cross station. So let's go. Uh, she ate it all, dude. Kendra loves everything Harry Potter. Love everything Halloween. And yeah. Yeah, yeah, it was really fun. I'm not. Fun. I enjoy Harry Potter, but I'm not like super into it. But all of my family is, so I can't escape it. They do have the actual platform nine and three quarters with a trolley headed in to the wall, which is fun for a little photo op. You do have to pay for it, and I will. But later. Yeah, the queue was quite long, so we figured she'll come back while I'm working. Since he's not all that into it, doesn't really care about the picture. Care about the picture? I mean, it'll be delightful seeing you all happy with the Harry Potter stuff, running into a brick wall. Yeah. It's gonna be amazing. Who doesn't love to run into a brick wall? Eight and 16, 30 seconds or whatever it's called. Like, that would be a half. Nine and three quarters. Nine and three quarters. Yeah. Good time. So now we are back on that same walkway we were on before and heading up the Regents Canal. We found this cool little outdoor shopping area next to King's Court. 
bunch of shops, coffee shops, restaurants. Maybe we should have done a little bit more research, but it seems like there's a bit of a different culture than we're used to. They'll look open and then we'll walk in and they're just open for like coffee. Or drinks. Actually, I think this is where the name was on that bridge. It's called Cold Drop Yard. Really cool place. Just wish the kitchens were open. So we're hungry. Yeah. somewhere for lunch it's called sons and daughters it's a sandwich shop so we ordered the mortadella sandwich and a side salad because health also because health or they had apple health. cider but we're gonna share it yeah. anyway i like ciders i don't really I'm excited. Like, yeah i don't like beers <laughs> but i like ciders so let's dig in do you want to take the inaugural sip Light. Yeah. Apt description. Oh, it's nice. I like it. Salad. Looks delicious. 100% recycled silver fork. Actually, it's not silver. Silver fork? Woodware. Sharing. It's carrying. It's a dark. What's the verdict? Kind of one of those more bitter flavored salads. It does have the arugula. Yeah. I mean, it's a salad. salad. Um, <laughs> Can't beat beat views for lunch, though. It's got to feel like it used to be maybe like an industrial area that they like repurposed into a shopping area. It's just like these brick buildings all around. I think it used to be a granary. That makes sense. It's very herby. The salad. Let's see how this sandwich is. Nice focaccia bread. And there's a kind of tomato sauce on it some plants and some ham, mortadella, whatever it's called. A mayo aioli, if you will. All right. Down the hatch. Mm, not bad. A little bit of a bologna flavor. For the salad, the sandwich, and the cider, it was a deal for 17 pounds, which is not bad for a shared lunch. Not bad for 17 quid. Yeah. I've always wanted to say quid, but <laughs> yeah. I've never been able to spend it. Yeah, you I've have. never been here. I How really like, like the bread. Like yeah. it's crispy, buttery. Yeah. And then it's got that uh, creamy, almost like cream cheese. It's nice. It's hard to beat a good focaccia bread. I like it. Okay. Houseboats on the side. I don't know if people live in them. They might. And we're coming up on some locks, which is exciting because locks are super fun. You can like unlock them and stuff. Not that kind of a lock. That kind of lock. Like yeah. on the Panama Canal. Pretty neat. Hampstead Heath. Which is a lovely neighborhood. Yeah, it's really pretty. Very quaint. What does it remind you of? Boston. <laughs> it's probably the other way around. I'm sure Boston is Precisely. more like here. But, but we went to Boston first. Well, at least. So it reminds us of Boston. You did. Because we're, <laughs> we're new worlders. Yeah, it's super pretty here. Should we go check out the neighborhood? Yeah, it's a posh little neighborhood. There's also a park, which we plan on going to, but we are on limited time, so let's get it done. Okay. 
This is where you park your car. So we are at Hampstead Heath, this little park here. We are just kind of like in a very small corner of it because it goes up there quite a ways. But we're managing a couple things. One time, I gotta get back to work. And the other one is diabetes. My blood sugar's low. I didn't pack any snacks. So what we're hoping to do is walk along here until we get to, what was the hill called? Parliament View. Parliament View Hill. And it goes kind of back through the town. So I'm hoping we can find a snack and- uh, Get some views of the city and then get you to work. That's it. After exploring Parliament Hill, we made a mad dash to find Dustin some sugar. A pasta de ginata, donuts, and a chocolate shake. Probably a little too much sugar for him, but hey, at least he wasn't dying. But the wrap up of our vlog, well, the audio sucked, so this is what you get. We hope you enjoyed our first couple days in London, but stay tuned because we have more of this town to explore.